Hi, in this tutorial we're going to discuss about the non-parametric independent uh, t-test. In the previous uh, couple, tut uh, couple tutorials we try to see about the uh, parametric uh, t-test, that means the independent as well as the dependent or unpaired as well as the paired one. And if you remember that both uh, both of them uh, require the assumption of what normality that means your observation should be uh, calm or your observation should be uh, follow a normal uh, distribution but in our, uh, but sometimes you may fail to get uh, normality in your observation so the good thing is to use the non-parametric test among the among the non-parametric test the one or the equivalence with the independent t-test is the man whitney wilcox uh, test this test is very important when you when you fail uh, that means when you fail or when you uh, the observation is violated for a normality as well as when your data contain large number of uh, noise or outliers so man whitney wilcox test is equivalent to what the uh, non-parametric, but it's equivalent to the independent uh, t-test. So you have to use the man whitney wilcox test when your uh, data uh, contain outliers and when your data or observation is not follow normally distribution. So in this tutorial, uh, I will check the variety. There is a two varieties, that means the Cora and Dagum, they are the varieties. And I will check whether or not there is statistical significance difference with uh, the mean green yield of uh, their uh, uh, performance. So uh, here there is 12, 12 observations for Cora and 12 observations for Dagum variety. And, uh, and the green yield, so that means the response variable will be uh, measured here in the form of tone per hectare so by this way we can create our uh, data so type this and submit to our studio then if you want to display uh, if you want to uh, display the uh, data frame so it looks like this way so we have two varieties Cora and Dagum then the response variable here is to measure is the green yield <coughs> sorry then after if you want to draw the box plot so as usual you have to run this ggplot uh, package then you, you have to use a function ggplot and under the parenthesis you have to use or you have to indicate the uh, the data name then in the x-axis is the variety that means uh, you have two varieties that means tagging and cora and the y-axis is the response variable or the character to be measured so in our case is a grain yield then uh, fill uh, here is you can select any color that you want so type this and send me to our studio so you'll get uh, the graph uh, or the box plot uh, in this uh, way so here is the tagum here is a quarter variety so our aim is what uh, to check uh, where, whether or not there is statistical significance difference among the two uh, varieties so, uh, so as, as I mentioned before, the man whitney wilcox test is used to when the assumption of normality is what violated. So in order to check the normality, you have to use the shapiro.test method. Then you have to subset, indicate here your data name, and uh, our uh, uh, factor is variety. So vari we have two varieties. The first one is Cora. Then you have to indicate here again uh, using the dollar sign and the response variable. So the response or variable or the character to be measured here is the grain yield. So type this and submit to our studio. As you can see here, the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 means there is no uh, it is statistically, statistically uh, significant. Statistically significant means there is significant problem in the normality. So the assumption of normality is not uh, is uh, is not fulfilled or it is uh, violated. So in similar fashion, uh, do for the, the second uh, varieties. Again, the p-value is can 0 0.03, again, which is statistically significant. Again, the assumption of normality is uh, violated. So whenever you have conduct uh, your experiment or your, uh, your uh, research, there is uh, two hypotheses. The first one is the null hypothesis, and the second one is the alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis is denoted by H0, and it is uh, uh, you can state the two groups are what equal in terms of the variable of interest. While in the case of the alternative one is 
the two groups are what? Different in the variable of interest. So coming to our research question, we have two varieties. That means Dagum and Korra. And we'll measure the variable of interest here is what? The uh, grain uh, yield. So uh, the H0 means with grain yield of Korra and Dagum varieties are what? Equal. That means uh, both of them will yield the same uh, uh, result, while the alternative one is at least one is what differ. That means core rice differ from Dagen varieties in terms of grain uh, yield production. So by this way, you can uh, say it. Then if the, the p-value is uh, greater than 0 0.05, you have to accept the null hypothesis. But if it is uh, less than 0 0.05, you will reject the null uh, hypothesis. So um, type this. Uh, uh, on your uh, thesis composition. Then let's come to our analysis. So in order to use, well, as you, we, we checked the normality, it is violated. So the best possible way to use is what the Wilcox dot uh, test function. Then our data name is that. So you have to indicate the response variable. So response variable in our case is uh, GY or grain yield. Then Again, in similar fashion, you have to indicate the factor. The factor is 2. That means the factor is 1, which is a Dagen and variety. So our factor name is uh, var. So by this way, you can submit to our studio, then you can uh, get your result. So accordingly, the p-value is 0 0.02, which is statistically significant. This means there is uh, a difference between uh, there is statistically difference between the two varieties in terms of uh, grain yield or in terms of uh, production uh, uh, in terms of production so um, by this way uh, you can perform the non-parametric independent t-test equivalent is the wilk cox uh, test uh, method so in this way you can uh, use this one the, then if you want just to uh, get all the statistical result uh, of the independent sample in the graph you have to use the digi stats plot uh, package so run this then again uh, you have to use the function here is digi between stats then under the parenthesis data you have to indicate your data so data is, our data name is dead and that then x axis is a variety y axis is a granule or response variable then you can assign anything uh, that you can see as you can see here then you can submit this to our studio so you'll get all uh, uh, the uh, result in this way so this is all about uh, today's uh, tutorial about the uh, man whitney or the non-parametric uh, independent uh, t-test so as usual uh, provide your valuable comments suggestions and questions through my email as well as youtube comment box thank you for watching have a nice time